Stylish just cannot help themselves. I swear to God. I just got my video for what is now today up and they find a way to just make the most insane update that now I have to do a speed run to get the video up. And if you couldn't tell what that is by the title and the thumbnail or something, something, we have our first new gun in over a year, not a reskin, not new stats, just a flat out brand new weapon. And that is the SVK 12. And I fully intend today to cover this weapon and find out just how incredible an AK DMR, the first of its kind is. And not only do we have a brand new DMR, the first DMR in ages, but we also have a new LMG, which is the AK-12 BR? What? Join me on today's adventure because this is going to be an insane video with some insane new changes made to the game. So first of all, let's start with the SVK-12. So like I said, this is the first new DMR that we've gotten in years, but not only is it the first new DMR we've gotten, it's like I said earlier, the first new gun that we have gotten in over a year now, last being the bar. And honestly, just looking at it, it looks like all of the other new AK models, which is to say that it looks absolutely amazing with gorgeous iron sights, beautiful recoil, and a normal reload that looks like any other reload in the game. So what exactly is the SVK-12 capable of as the first new weapon in ages? Well, I've yet to even land a hit with this thing, so I want to I wanna try and smack somebody with it first, and then we'll take a look at the stats. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if we take a look at the stats here, we can see that we are doing 44 damage out to 50 studs with a minimum of 34 damage. We also have a slightly higher than average headshot multi of 1.5 and a slightly above average torso multi of 1.1 with a 20 round magazine, three different fire modes, a 500 semi, 700 auto, and a thousand fire rate burst mode, similarly to the other AKs in the game or AK-12 kind of models. I didn't even realize that we had a full auto mode for this. So let me just, let's, let's kind of look at the recoil here. So by base, we have 500 fire rate, pretty high recoil, you know, kind of what you expect from a DMR. But if we go ahead and we fire over the fire rate to 700 full auto. Oh, <laughs> oh, that looks good. That looks fantastic. Oh my God. I love it. And then lastly, for the burst mode of a thousand fire rate. Yeah, that's, that's kind of to be expected high. I don't know how particularly useful without like extreme pulling down. I don't know how useful it's going to be in actual use case, but the full auto is definitely something that I will be using a lot with this weapon when it gets added to the main game. It looks like we have a squad barrel, which is an extended barrel, extends damage ranges, obviously like they do for everything. Um, it doesn't look like there's any other unique attachments. There are two conversions for it, 7.62 by 51, and we have 12.7 by 55. So the first one, the 7.62 by 50, one gives us a two round burst at a thousand rpm with it seems like less recoil than the three round burst version by default so this is only two round burst at a thousand rpm with attachments you could probably get this thing down to insane levels of recoil and again still with the 762 51 conversion you can see that our damage numbers are slightly decreased over the base but we get a slightly increased headshot multi and yeah no different fire rates unfortunately so that's honestly not bad i like it i i think that's a pretty cool little trade-off you're essentially just trading the default ammo for 8,000 rpm two round burst and a better headshot multi which seems to give you a two tap headshot shot at maximum range and a three tap torso as well. We also get a two tap headshot with the default ammo as well. Now that I take a look at it and three tap torso for the 12.7 by 55, we had this, I believe on the AK 12 BR, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Lord knows what that's going to be like. We'll check that out here soon, but this looks like it is semi only 500 fire rate, 10 round magazine with insane CQC damage with actual one tap torso potential out to about 41 studs and three tap torso max range four shot. Otherwise with insane headshot multi one one tap headshot out to 120 studs. That's crazy. So for this semi only extremely high recoil. Listen to that sound though. That is a beefy boy right there. And also the iron sights too just look amazing. What can I say, bro? These new AK-12 models are fantastic. This is this can okay, this conversion might end up being my favorite. This is so funny. This is so funny. One tap, oh, dude, one tap torso out to like 40 studs is crazy. This is effectively what 500 Phantom is for the MK11, but without, well, no, it does still have pretty poor muzzle velocity, actually. Speaking of which, the default muzzle velocity for this is 2500, which is kind of standard for this kind of thing. Even with 762, it's 2500, but it cuts it less than in half with 12.7 by 55. One tap head and one tap torso, or one tap head and one tap limb at max range even is kind of ridiculous. Like, this is just so stupidly good. This is just so 
This is so stupidly good. I love it. I love it so much. The second new weapon that we have gotten is going to be the new LMG of the AK-12BR, which you might be wondering, Steven, that's a battle rifle. Why is it in the LMG category now? Well, for some reason, somebody thought this was a good idea. So <laughs> we have the AK-12BR with a funny 100 round drum magazine. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. 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 First of all, those irons look great. It's not super zoomed in like, uh, like the AK-12 BR is by default. And of course this does have the new AK-12 style of model on it. And, uh, recoil is extremely low, like extremely, extremely low. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That is probably some of the lowest LMG recoil that we have in the game outside of like the MGV-176, that thing. Yeah. Oh my God. This is so, this is so sick. Let's see. Do we have any other fire modes? We do have a thousand RPM three on burst, which again, like I'm compensating for right here. But if you put the right attachments on this, I'm sure that this would be fairly useful. And back to 850 semi, 850 full auto as well. Wow. Just, I'm, I'm, let's, you know what? Let's check out the stats. Let's check out the stats. So if we take a look at the stats here, we have 31 damage at the 50 studs. Minimum of, oh, Jesus Christ, just 18 damage. Bro, this thing's not much better than the MGV-176. But otherwise, we have a standard 1.4 headshot multi and a standard 1.0 torso multi. So we're not going to be doing any crazy damage with this. We have a 3,050 muzzle velocity higher than the BFG, man. And a big, goofy drum on this thing, which looks amazing. And I love it. And it's great. And it's fantastic. Let's take a look at the attachments for this. I doubt that we'll have any, I don't think we're going to have any freebies on this now. And we have a 7.62 by 39 conversion, which is, I imagine, basically just kind of like how it was on the AK-12 BR when it was a battle rifle and not an LMG. Two shot headshot, that's about 41-ish studs. Three tap torso, out to about the same distance. Minimum 22 damage, standard multis as well. I mean, yeah, this, this for the most part, other than like the new recoil and model is effectively going to be what regular 7.62 on the AK-12 BR is in the current version of the main game. So because of the fact that I don't want to use that and I want to use something fun, I want to use this. I want to use this. I, don't get me wrong. I'm very excited for this. I'm more excited though for the, uh, the SVK-12. I don't. I don't know why a single hit didn't land there. Well, I think that is going to pretty much be it for today's video, dudes. Like, we have two new guns. They're both super, super sick. They both have amazing just stats and everything. I mean, technically, AK-12BR is not new. It's just completely been reworked and stuff. But in terms of everything, we, I would say, effectively have two new guns here. All the changes that are currently in test places, which I have made a couple of videos on so far over the last few days, are rapidly shaping up to turn into probably one of the biggest content updates that we've ever gotten in Fantasy forces in a single update provided that this all gets added at once if you guys do want to keep up to date with all of the changes that are coming to phantom forces definitely get subscribed with notifications on because you're not going to want to miss some of the stuff that stylus is going to drop here soon including a zombie mode which i do have a video kind of in the works on it's it's going to be ridiculous get subscribed join the discord server with the link in the description below where i always ping for videos and streams and stuff and let me know your thoughts on these two in the comment section below with that said i hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your video big thanks to all the channel members up on screen you guys are absolutely in freaking incredible. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Have a great yesterday. Peace.